first of all, thank you all for coming like this late afternoon to come and take a look at what we do at Mapillary. My name is uh, Johan with the hard Swedish last name Johanspets. Uh, I'm a Swede that has emigrated to uh, the States for sunshine and love. My wife is American. So I live uh, in uh, Los Angeles, currently live in Los Angeles. Um, I am the lead architect for a company called Mapillary, uh, and we've been uh, running for about two and a half years now. And in this presentation, I want to tell a little about on how to use Mapillary to improve the OpenStreetMap. But I'm going to do it in pretty much three sections. First, I want to talk a little bit about what Mapillary is. Then I'm gonna talk about our open platform and how we develop against that. And then I'm gonna finish off with a couple of examples how people have used our platform to integrate Mapillary into the different OpenStreetMap tools. So at this point, you're probably asking yourself, what is Mapillary? Well, Mapillary could be, uh, com I don't know the English word for this, but combined into one sentence. Mapillary is a service for crowdsourcing street level photos. So, ever since we started Mapillary, we, we had these single thoughts about how to crowdsource imagery. First of all, we think that photos should be collected collaboratively in the open, in the open with an open license. So all of our images are uh, licensed with an open license. They're actually Creative Commons share by share alike. Anyone should be able to contribute and use regardless of what the motivation is for uploading the images to this big image repository that we're creating. Uh, and least, but not the least important is that we all come from the computer vision uh, part of things. We think that if, we're com if we are collecting this vast amount of data that images are, we do think that we, you should use computer vision to make sense out of this data. So then you can just use this data that you have extracted to, uh, uh, to make better maps. So this is Mapillary. Uh, this is our current coverage in the world. Um, you can see that Europe is pretty well covered. Uh, the coasts in the United States are starting to get pretty covered too. All of the, I sh at this point, I should probably say like the green things on here is where we have street view coverage. Um, our members have mapped around 1.7 million kilometers of roads, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and that uh, goes down to, we actually just passed 73 million images this morning. Uh, and we have images from all around the world, uh, about 180 plus countries right now. Uh, and everything that uploads to Mapillary goes through a fully automatic process. We don't have to do anything on it. It will be actually impossible for us to do anything on images, since at a, at a good day, we'll be re receiving up to 300,000 images on Mapillary. So this is just like a little zoom in to show you like how good of a coverage we have in Europe. This is Germany, and you can see how, how good it is in the Netherlands, where, where people have really been crazy, and it's awesome to see how how people is taking it in and capturing a street view. So <clears throat> here's an interesting picture. To the left, um, you see the city of San Francisco. And to the right, you see the city of Helsingborg in Sweden. And uh, the image to the left, I mean, they look, they look the same. And, and you see the green lines here. This is where we have street view captured. But in the image to the left, all of the imagery are captured by a smartphone, by a free app that we provide. 
while it in the images to the right, all of these images are professional 360 uh, rigs that, that has captured all of these imagery. So we do have full support for 362. What's cool is that the, on the image to the left, on the map to the left, that's all, that's all, all our members that have uh, contributed at. They have been just driving around the different roads. But on the map to the right, that's actually a city who has given us all of their data. Since we have this cool platform where people can just dump in imagery, and most of those cities are under an open data initiative and they wanna give back their imagery that they have paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for to capture to the community, we have an initiative where they can just upload the images to Mapillary and we host those images for free for the city. So what I wanna show here is that it's the, second, it's the second thing, right? We want everybody to be able to contribute to Mapillary. It doesn't really matter what your intentions are. Like a city maybe has very different intentions from like what a private person would have. <clears throat> so now it comes down to you. How do you get your imagery up here? Well, you can do it in many different ways. Um, we have an app for iOS. We have an Android app, we have a Windows Phone app. And what's pretty cool is that in the iOS app, we have integrated action cameras. Because all of these action cameras, like the GoPro and the Garmin Verb, they have APIs. So you can just, can, can just connect from your phone to these action cameras. And what you see down here is actually a support that the Garmin Verb camera has. You can connect up to four Garmin, Garmin Verb cameras into one iPhone. So by doing this, you can actually create, create like a really cool street view rig and you can get like nearly full 360. But if you want full 360, and this is what really, really excites me. <laughs> I mean, after this presentation, I gotta give out those at the door, so you can just pick up one of those and then I send you out in the world with those. Um, oh, this is actually our user, Simi, uh, from France. He had built this rig himself. I think this is his Twitter picture, so this is, this is really funny. And what, but the cool thing with this, except that it's an awesome rig, is what it has on his head. It's a 360 camera. And I think that we are right now on the verge of getting really cheap 360 cameras out there in the world. And Mapillary is prepared for that. We have a super, um, not super, but we, yeah, yeah, we have a super platform <laughs> to actually take care of all of these 360 imagery. Um, that's what I wanna say about that. So, talking about super platform, before I go into more about our platform, I wanna talk a little bit about what's going on behind the scenes on Mapillary when you upload an image. Because when we started out Mapillary, we made a promise to ourselves that we said that we want every single image that you upload to count. So if you upload an image now and we do new technology in the future, we want to be able to make the experience using that image even better. So I gotta kind of take you through a little what happens when you upload an image to Mapillary. The first thing that happens is that <clears throat> for privacy reasons, uh, we blur all faces and license plates. The image here to the left is actually a license plate on a bus. I just realized now it's not maybe that obvious, but it's a license plate of the bus. And uh, to the right, we just blur faces. So that's the first thing we do. In the second step, we do a 3D reconstruction of the whole area where you have uploaded images. So this is what you will see. You will see a pleasant viewing experience. But <clears throat> what we will see, what a computer will see, is this 3D point cloud here. So we're actually doing a 3D reconstruction of everything that you upload. And we do this adaptively. So if somebody uploads an image to a street, and then somebody else comes like two months later, these two images will go into the same 3D construction and the same point cloud. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> um, you wanna look good, right? 
Um, so um, after this, uh, we do sigmatic, semantic segmentation of all of our images. And I'm not a vision expert, so I don't know how, how our vision people do this, but basically what we do is that we're trying to understand how what every object is in the image. And here you can see, like, we detected the road, we detected the, the uh, pavement, we detected the cars, we detected traffic signs, and we segment everything out in the image. And then, the third step we do is that we take this 3D reconstruction and we combine it with the segmentation. So what this basically means is that, <clears throat> is that let's say that somebody takes 400 images down a street. And uh, in three of those images, there's a sign. There is the same sign in, in these three images. And uh, in many other platforms, they will show you three detections of this. They will be like, this is where I stood, where I took the first image looking at the sign. And this is where I stood when I took the second. And this was where I took when I took the third. But what we do, is that we combine this 3D reconstruction uh, together with the segmentation and give you an exact location of where the actual object is. So instead of getting like three locations that is not true for a sign, you get an exact location for one sign. And how this data ties into OpenStreetMap, I'm gonna show you a little later. Um, first of all, I wanna tell you that all of these features are available on mapillary.com. I don't think that the, uh, the street sign feature is available yet because we just redid our sign, uh, our site, but it will be available in a couple of weeks from now. <coughs> um, and I can talk for hours about this site. We just did a redesign of it, but you can go here, you can explore it. I think it's great, it's intuitive, but what I wanna talk more about is actually Mapillary as a platform, right? We have all of this imagery, and now you wanna make use of this imagery. And me, as a lead architect, I always had this, this thought that, well, it's okay, we can build you a client for viewing ima images, we can build you a client for doing this and doing that, but if you're an open street mapper and you wanna make use of our imagery, we're gonna let you be able to build the tools that you want. So <clears throat> as a developer or an open street mapper, we provide three different things with information or three different segments or whatever you say in English um, to do this. So the first one uh, is our open source viewer, uh, which is called Mapillary.js. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that one on the next slide. The second one is that we provide all of our geospatial data, all of the extractions and everything we do as vector tiles. And vector tiles is awesome because you can, you can filter those, you can get everything you want out of there. And for the more advanced users, we will also have an API where you can do stuff like blurring, you can do change sets, you can do stuff like that automated. So very important, an open platform where you have a viewer, and the viewer, of course, is open source. We're trying to do everything we can to do open source. The viewer, I, I mean, so if you go to github.mapillary, github.com slash mapillary, you will see that we have a lot of tools open source. I'm just gonna highlight two of those that we're particularly proud of. <clears throat> and the first one is mapillary.js. And if you guys are familiar with Leaflet or Mapbox.jl, you can think about Mapillary.js a little bit like uh, the Leaflet or Mapbox.jl for Street View. It's an open source viewer which we built from the scratch with, uh, with no external dependencies and it supports 360, you can show point clouds in there, you can make all of these cool different move moments and it's also component-based, so you're able to add new components, do pull requests, fork, just play around with it. The second big thing that we're super proud of is something that is called OpenSFM. 
It's one of the most used Structure for Motion libraries right now. And for those people who don't know what Structure for Motion is, I don't know that either. <laughs> no, basically, what I, as far as I understand it, what Structure for Motion is, is basically the tools that create the 3D reconstructions in Mapillary. Um, and, and what it does is that, the, that it takes all of these images, oh shit, sorry, <laughs> five minutes, um, and, and create the 3D reconstruction out of that. And least, but not important, Mapillary data is open. It's shared by a CC BY share alike license. And, with this is important for you guys, for OpenStreetMap, we have full right, you guys have full rights to derive data from OpenStreetMap under the OSMFM contributor terms. So any data that we generate, everything from our vector tiles, anything from our, our Mapillary JS viewer you can see in there, you can take that and put that back into OpenStreetMap. <clears throat> Which leads me into the last part. Photos and data for OpenStreetMap. So, okay, we have this big image repository. We do all of this cool processing on all of these images. And uh, we have an open platform that people can integrate. So let's look a little bit what people have done for OpenStreetMap with that, with that platform. <clears throat> First of all, you have full access to all mapillary images in JOSM. So what you do is that you go online, you install the Mapillary plugin, and uh, then once the plugin is installed, you press imagery, you press Mapillary, and then here, all of these green little dots here are Mapillary imageries. And what you can do after that is that you press one of those, and you get an instant preview of an image that somebody has captured around the world. It might be you, but you will see everybody's images in there. And then you can use this image to update OpenStreetMap. We also integrated into the ID editor, the one that's on the web. So if you press this little button here, open up this little drawer, um, and you press this one here, you can actually see that you're getting the dots and the captures of all of the images from that street. And what's cool here too is that you can actually also get all the traffic signs that we have extracted from the area. And if you press one of those traffic signs, this is a terrible image, but you see down there where the hand is, there is actually a turn restriction there. So uh, then you can use that to update that. Well, there is no left turn here. So a better tool for doing this is something that uh, Mapbox has been working on uh, lately. Um, what they do is that they take in all of, our, all of our sign data from our vector tile layer, uh, put it on the map, and then they use that to verify turn restrictions. So here you can see that I pressed the regula regulatory no left turn US and a picture comes up. And if you look at the picture, you can see that there is a turn restriction right here. So boom, you verify that and now you have better routing in, uh, in OSM. And that's it for me. Questions? Any questions for Johan? Thank you. I'm Leonardo from Colombia. I'm a teacher in Colombia in a school. I'm teaching OpenStreetMap. A few months ago, I worked with the Mapillary platform. We have captured a lot of, of places in Colombia. And uh, I'm wondering if is it possible uh, make a method or, in, or uh, include in the Mapillary app a method to improve the, the traces, the improve the, uh, for example, is you select an area, uh, create a salesman travel method or Chinese postman method to improve the, 
the captures of the pictures. I is this possible in the future? Um, oh, so you, you want a feature that tells you like basically Optimize the route. Uh, yeah, yeah, every, yeah, yeah. Like you, you, you want to capture a city, and you want to exactly. like, like catch all of the nodes in a city. In a, in a, in a, in an area, in a selected yeah. area, is is possible in the future? Um, we actually don't have that service. You can do that routing, but I think there are some pretty good like open source alternatives or or services for for doing that routing. Hi, uh, quick question. What uh, tiling, I'm guessing it's tiling service, do you use for the backend for the panoramas? Sorry, can you take that again? The panorama, uh, what kind of tiling solution do you use for the server? Oh, to, for to panorama? Yeah. So for right now, we don't have a tiling solution for panoramas, but that is something that's, that we're working on to get in. So you can get like really super high definition panoramas. It's a good question. Maybe similar to the, uh, the, the previous question, uh, are there standardization efforts uh, underway to, uh, so from an API perspective, I wanted to get street level uh, data from some particular location. Are there any kind of standardization efforts underway that would help make this reusable? Um, not, not right now, not at the yeah. moment. Uh, right now we just, we just have our API and, uh, and we have good documentation about how to use it. Um, so there's no like standardization process going on around that. Not right now. Joshua, thanks. Yeah, I was just wondering if your uh, JavaScript viewer uses HTML5? Yes, okay. it does, it does. It, it actually uses WebGL too, to do all of the 3D things. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the problem with in, indoor mapping is always the GPS. If you go, have good GPS and let's say that you have a good 360 camera, then it's easy to do indoor mapping. Um, one of the things that's coming out pretty soon is a desktop uploader too, where you will be able to, for example, take panoramas in a house uh, and then you will be able to place things on a map before you upload. So it's possible, but right now I would say like it's the GPS things that, that makes it a little more tricky. But, but we do have indoor people that maps indoor, but they do like cleaning before. More questions? It's, it's available as vector tiles right now, but there is also an API where you can get it from. I would recommend to get it through vector tiles though, because it's a little more cumbersome to get it through the API. You have to send in the bounding box and kind of pan around to do that. Uh, but yes, it's available through our API too. You said that uh, Mapillary JS was open source. I was wondering if that would work with like um, the the Libre JS plugin that like blocks like non-open source JS. Hmm. That's a tough question. That I actually don't know. Okay, um, I mean, it's it's open source. You can like fork it and try it out yourself. It's a it's it's like one my baby. I really like that. You should look into the code. It's really cool code. <laughs> oh, will do. We have time for one more question, if anyone has one. All right. Well, please thank Johan for a wonderful right. presentation. Thank you, guys.